You're listening to Mike James Rock Show with Dan and Mike. Welcome to this week's show. It is this week's show. It is this week's show. You can tell. Yeah, we're not in the studio. <laughs> Our manager has allowed us to leave the studio. But she is making us work by doing interviews at 2000 Trees. And uh, so we've got quite a few interesting highlights as well as our interview highlights to run you guys through because we absolutely love trees and we don't get anywhere near as overloaded as we do at Download. That's very true. So we actually um, are allowed out the press area. So. There's more stuff on this one than there was on the download highlight show. Let's 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 cut to that. I need that for the news. So this is the food area, as you can probably tell, a food area. One of a couple. So it's deciding who uh, we want to queue up for at some point today. So here we also have two of the stages, one there, one over there. Is over there? So we're uh, looking for more hot sauce because we're on a ban on prank channels and gummy bears. So hot sauce is what we're doing. Never gummy bears. They've sold out of the hot sauce. You're kidding? Nope. They never actually sold out the hot sauce. Tank. Wait, wait. Metals. Also, it doesn't look like there's any snapbacks. Yeah. And uh, I don't want to cap. I want a snapback. Okay, so just over on the stage here is a band that we're hoping that we've still got an interview on. We we'll wonder so you can see a little bit of the performance. But that is Hawks. We like a bit of Hawks, it won't be our first time interviewing them. Shout out to the parents and uh, bring their uh, kids to trees. There is actually a pretty cool little play park. Dude, I want to play Crazy Golf too. Yeah, um, also this is not you know, personal experience at all. But if you're uh, 35 years old, you're not allowed in. Also look at yeah, another charity place in trees. These guys are so good at making sure that we've got safe big swimming, we've got metal for good. One drop of the plan, uh, gig parties. You want another place like this and make sure there's representation. I haven't had churros in such a long time. Um, it's all right. <laughs> and uh, they have been highly, highly recommended. Also, shout out to Don Broca Cheerios. Yeah. Don Broca Cheerios. <laughs> um, we've also had Bunny Moons from uh, one of our YouTube peoples. Check the link below, we'll link their channel. <laughs> that is the most committed outfit I've seen in a long time. Hello. <laughs> that was amazing.
Here we have the very last stage. Just hit. another one. So that's what, now four? I think there's only four here. This is a very sick little uh, backstage area. Are they friendly? Friends, I just can't even. <laughs> so, as you can see, a little artist village there. So, uh, artists get access to a little bit of the martial plant there. Other people don't. Trees look after their artists with a backstage bar as well. It's huge. Some press people that do very well there, but they haven't uh, been asked whether they want to go on camera. And then, just up there, being pointed out by uh, What's that? Michael, is our press area. Make sure you're tuning in through your empties. Okay, so we're, <laughs> we're dropping back into our own highlight show because we do still do a radio show when we're at festivals. Uh, yes, we have. <laughs> and that's where I started uh, the challenge, but with this challenge, there's not going to be any artwork. We're probably not going to be able to time it on site as easily, but I am going to run through everybody that you can catch on our Mixcloud show right now. Definitely not using the fact that um, I uh, have to read it off my phone because there's normally a screen off screen. Okay. So, ready, steady, go. We start with Steen, Scene Queen, hot singles in your area, the 500 dragged out, As I Lay Dying, the cave we fear to enter, the Ramzina single of the week, Lost to Light, Redeemer, Grove Street with Divided Kingdom, Mushroom Head with Fallen Line, Seether with Judas Mind, Mothica with Mirage, Oni, they're back, with Control, Tropic Gold with Happy, Charlotte Whistles, Vessels um, with Dopamine, High Parasite with Grave Intentions, Visions of Atlantis with Tonight I'm Alive, Exist Immortal with Higher Ground, Black Toothed with an ED at the end, Hell's Paradise, Alleviate Forevermore, our That Should Cover It track is Creeper with Love as a Drug originally by Roxy Music, and then to close out the show we have Unearth, Bask in the Blood of Our Demons, Miss May I, Forgive and Forget, and Nile to Strike with Secret Fang. That's uh, all of well those. Well done. Thank you. I think that was slightly longer than last week, but... Well, I did do all of the um, features as well, so... You did. That, that's, that's why I'm saying it slowed me down this week. And anything is going to be better than last week's show. Uh, <laughs> for me, uh, anyway. I mean, props to this man here for actually... I'm alive! He's standing. Yeah. He's actually standing. That was horrific. I mean, it really was. I hate to break it to you, uh, viewers, but yes, I'm alive, and yes, we did fire our producer afterwards. We got a nice new lady in and hopefully she's just going to supply us with Hagen dance and Ben and Jerry's and soft scoops and ice creams and I mean that's what we've been told in the interview so <laughs> hopefully um, that we did try and find at 2000 trees from the merch store some hot sauce and whilst it may be sold out there we might have a secret in so we may do um, if we do, we are going to do a 2,000 Trees Hot Sauce Challenge, at, like probably with the highlight show. Yeah, no gummies involved. No gummies, at, like definitely no gummies involved. Anyway, we've got a few more highlights to roll. Let's cut to that. Was it 12 gigs in 24 hours? Or 15. Was it 15 gigs in 24 hours? 15 shows in 15 cities in 24 hours. How, how did that go down in the end? I was awful. Yeah? Uh, just, well, I mean, physically. I mean, I should say, the shows are cool, the audiences cool. were cool. The physicality of doing it yeah. was nightmarish. And uh, my crew, who did it with me, both before, during, and after, were saying two things. They were saying, this was your idea. <laughs> and secondly, we're never doing it never like again. again. <laughs> what are the sort of favorites do you guys have off the new album? Like, what's your personal sort of favorite tracks? Um, I like our sketch out, because yep. it reminds me of The Cure, which I was listening to a lot at the time of the song, uh, which is why all the lyrics are like really sort of mundane, 
um, and kind of like I don't know, just like just really round, just a rounded song. Yeah. It just and I just love the fact that we got a chance to add strings to this one. I kind of put like an arrangement together that was pretty simple, but um, but they all felt like uh, I don't know. I just felt like it just added a little bit of emotion and just kind of just kind of just does what the band has always felt like a kind of like a heart on sleeve emotion at the front kind of band. So. I just felt like they, they added something to that, and, and that's one of them where they're heavily featured. So, nice. yeah, that, that's my vibe. Yeah. And all the touring hacks, you know, that you come to get yeah. to grips with, like... Uh, What's the best one you've been given? So the one that's working really well at the moment is creating a massive vat of pasta and okay. uh, bringing some pasta, and then you can just, like, make your own little meal. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, the kind of big bird feeder kind of vats. That's what's yeah. filled with pasta. Wow, that's a lot of pasta. It's a lot of pasta. That, that, yeah, that's... Uh, we need a lot of energy. So. <laughs> yeah, but, um, yeah, so we shot like multiple videos this year. We've been on tour in the US with Vukovi nice. in May. Uh, and then we've just finished a UK headline uh, literally two days ago. Um, Top it off with trees, why not? Yeah, and we finished it basically. Trees is like our last show of the tour, which is a great way to finish. And uh, what are you guys up to after you leave Trees? Uh, is it a bit of a break or are you no, just like... Need to return the van, so coming straight to Blackpool. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Need to return the van, that's all we got concerns with at the moment. Yeah. Well, was, it, was it a quick process to record this album then? Yeah, well we just paid a bunch of people to do it. And then, Fair enough. And then, so we were sitting at home. <laughs> then you, so easy. So yeah. easy. And then, then you just lip sync over it. Yeah. Yeah, that's the way to do it. <laughs> that's it. That's how you make the bucks. Just ask Justin Bieber. <laughs> well, strangely enough, he's our next interview. Uh, he's over there. <laughs> you heard that? <laughs> so, Every set's a party set. Well, yeah. It's getting less stir, but we'll just condense it. Okay. And you? So have you? Does this mean that you've completed every stage after today at 2000? I think so. Yeah. Do you get like a free coffee or anything we like that? We should do. Right? We should like, certainly do that. Like yeah. little, I swear <laughs> that you and Frank Turner they get loyalty cards at festivals. Oh yeah. Right? I don't think we can compete with Frank's record here. But, um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, we haven't got a lot of time to talk. When's the album out? And what's the uh, lead tracks of it for the for our audience to uh, go and deep dive into it? September the 13th is when it's released. I'll be doing an in-store tour around the UK. The three songs that. I have at least so far are oh, AI Save Yourself, Scars and Love Me When You're I Cry! Okay, so we definitely haven't recorded all of the links to this stood in exactly the same position. How's that? Is that better? So this is us just signing off from 2000 Trees. We're probably after the point of us actually saying this goodbye. We'll have uh, filmed a few bits. Uh, we're either going to have already played those or I'm going to put them after this bit. I'm not sure yet. Make sure though, for more, um, like, we, we couldn't even highlight one of his interviews because he did it that quickly because the guy needed to leave the press area for like a really super important podcast that couldn't be uh, couldn't be late for. But we've got that uh, booked in later in the year, so it's yeah. all gravy. We're going to uh, talk to him a little bit more because he is a fun guy. Anyway, so make sure that you like, subscribe, comment. Hit that bell, comment, yeah. share. Tell us where who we should interview at Bloodstock and Reading. Tell us who we should interview on Zoom. Tell us what Grab Aid is doing. And Burn It Down Festival. And Burn It Down Festival. It's a busy old August coming up. Yeah, so you can tell us who you want to see us say words to. That's why you should subscribe. So until then, goodbye. Yeah, toodles. That was almost professional. Almost.